this was the, literally the poem that, um, that I read for the first time, and it, it shifted my perspective and my writing. And I'm trying to memorize it, but I've got some little notes here. Uh, it's called Silver Lined Heart. I'm for reckless abandon and spontaneous celebrations of absolutely nothing at all. Like the twin flutes I keep in the trunk of my car in a box labeled emergency champagne glasses. Raise an unexpected glass to long cold winters and sweet hot summers and the beautiful confusion of the times in between. To the unexpected drenching rain that leaves you soaking wet and smiling, <laughs> breathless. Here's to the soul expanding power of the universally optimistic, simply beautiful. You see, things you hate, things you despise, like multinational corporations and lies that politicians tell, injustices that make you mad as hell, that's all well and good. And as far as writing poems goes, I think you should. It just might be the poem that gets the POWs released, brings an end to terrorism or peace in the Middle East. But as far as what soothes me, what inspires and what moves me, my honesty behooves me to tell you that your rage doesn't move me. See, like the darkest cloud, my heart has a silver lining, which doesn't hearken to the loudest whining, but beats and grows and stirs evermore when I learn the things that you're actually for. That's why I'm for best friends, long drives, and smiles. Nothing but the sound of thinking for miles. For the unconditional love of our pets. May we learn the lessons of their love by heart. For therapy when you need it, and poetry when you need it, and the wisdom to know the difference. I'm for evolution more than revolution, unless you're offering me some kind of a solution. Isn't that how we got the Constitution? I'm for intense sessions of self-love, especially when it makes you a nicer person. I'm for the glass half full, the silver lining, for the optimist who consider darkness just another kind of shining. So don't waste your time or your curses on verses about what you're against, despise, or abhor. Tell me what inspires you, what fulfills, and what fires you. Put your gifted pen to paper and tell me what you're for. Thank you.